<laughs> hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to import presets for the stock plugins in Logic Pro. So let's get to it. As you may or may not know, I do give away a lot of um, presets for stock plugins in Logic. And I always get the questions, where do I put it? How do I use them? How do I open them up? Here's how you do it. So the first thing you obviously want to do is download the preset, which I have them right here. So I have an ES2 preset and a chord trigger preset. And those are kind of the two presets I usually give away. Uh, once you've downloaded those, go to your top bar over here and hit go. Then you're going to click on computer. Then you're going to click on Macintosh HD or whatever your hard drive is called. Then users. Click on the user account that you are using. And then you're going to want to go to music. And then let me just make this window a bit bigger. And then we are going to open up audio music apps. And then we are going to scroll to the side until we see something called plugin settings. And then here is where all your presets live um, on your computer. So let's just say we have an ES2 preset. We're going to quickly type in ES2 and it's right here. And I'm going to drag in my ES2 preset. Next thing we're going to do is going to load in the chord trigger preset. So if I type in chord, there it is right here. Here are all my chord trigger presets. I'm going to drag this one in and I just loaded it in. So let's go over to Logic. Okay, so now we're in Logic. Here is my software instrument track with a chord trigger instance and an ES2 instance. So let's open up ES2 and see if our preset is over there. And it is right here, ES2 preset and our chord trigger preset can be found here as well. And there it is right there, chord trigger preset. So that is how you import presets into the appropriate folders. Always make sure that you're dragging in the preset to the appropriate plugin, otherwise it won't load in properly. So that is the best way how to import presets for Logic Stock plugins. This way, every time you open up the plugin, that preset can always be found in this drop down menu. And you don't have to load it in every time as say, if you were just to load it in through this menu right here. So that is how you import those presets. And if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button as more good videos are always coming. And always remember to head on over to imamusicmogul.com and share your music with the world. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.